Hey everybody, this is Pete Benzel for Anybrick and today I'm going to show you how to achieve a height increment between certain bricks of one third brick height by using the remesh modifier in Blender. How to get to the basic landscape will not be part of this video. If you're interested in this topic, check out my linked video. It's not a secret that brick-built landscapes are not only bound to a horizontal grid, but also to a vertical one. Bricks can either have exactly the same level or can differ from each by a whole number multiple of a plate height. In addition, three plates have the same height as one brick. This leads to the height difference of one third of the brick height that I use. It is also no secret that I have ignored this in all previous videos so far. And I would like to correct this situation within this video. If you have more or less followed my videos, then the entire height of the landscape should be defined by the landscape source object. If I now change this, then both the bricks and the plants should automatically adapt. Therefore, we show the landscape source object and activate the selectability. At the same time, we deactivate it of the particle source object because we don't want to accidentally pick the wrong one. We will use the remesh modifier. However, this only works correct with volumes. And our object is currently a plane with a thickness of zero. So we have to apply the solidify modifier first. You can remember this fact. If a modifier does not work as expected, it is probably because your object has no thickness. Or you just do it wrong. Sorry, with this solidify modifier we only change the offset from negative one to one which defines the direction of the expansion. With the remesh modifier, the first we have to do is set the type to blocks. With the resolution, here octree depth, and the size, we can now try to set a grid that corresponds to the size of our bricks. As an additional scaling help, I like to import a plate and use front view. In this example, the values 9 and 0.95 would achieve the desired result. The octree depth should only be increased with caution as it can quickly crash your system. This is what the final result looks like. And that would be the end of this video. And at the same time, the end of my Blender tutorial series. Of course, there will be further brick tutorials in Blender because there are a lot of topics that I didn't cover by now. These will each deal with small self-contained problems and can be considered in any order. Therefore, I will not tease our next upcoming tutorials anymore. And it makes it easier for community triggered reprioritization. So hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned. Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. You may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.